So if you have one of these, it probably most of the time sits there and just doesn't get used. Earlier in the pandemic, I went for a massage and at the end of it, the lady was like, you know, you could foam roll to help with things. And I laughed really hard because it just was like, I tell people that all the time. Um, but sometimes it's hard to just use it by yourself. So this is gonna guide us through three things that you can do with your foam roller to help release with neck and shoulder tension as we start to focus on arms this week. Lay your foam roller so it's running the long way, sitting in the center of your mat or space, and then set your butt up onto one end and you'll lie all the way back. Yes, hi birdie. birdie. So when you get down onto your back, just take a, me uh, a second, a second, to make sure that you actually feel centered on the foam roller. I like my feet to come a little bit wider and I let my knees knock in just a little bit so that the front of my hips can feel pretty soft. The first thing you'll do is reach your arms up towards the sky so that you find fingertips lengthening away from the ground. Feel your shoulder blades try to hug backwards around your foam roller. And then try to reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, spreading your shoulder blades out. So you're going for your scapular glides here, feeling them pull in and spread away. And you're letting the foam roller apply a little bit of pressure to the muscular that musculature that lives in between the shoulder blades and from the tip of the shoulder to the neck. You've got a little bit of superficial trap happening up here. Your rhomboid running between the shoulder blades. The delts a little bit wider. Taking three or four more here. Try not to let the hands spread apart as you squeeze allowing these to get just a little bit more intense. Maybe for your last two, you only go one side at a time. Good, and then you'll bend your arms into a 90 degree angle, feeling your shoulder blades pretty spread apart. And open your arms out to the side of the rooms so that your elbows fall as far to the floor as they can. Check in at the front of the ribs, make sure that they're still nice and soft. And then from here, as slow as possible, you are drawing snow angels. Elbows go a little closer to your butt. Elbows come up toward your ears. Listen to the back of the neck, maybe add a little bit of length by bringing your chin a little bit towards your chest. Make sure your breath hasn't quickened because this is kind of stressful. We're opening up through your pec muscles on the front here. A lot of the times we don't realize that the back of our shoulders are so tight because the front of our chest is so tight. It's all connected and starts to pull and aggravate. And then using your hands onto your foam roller, you'll let yourself sit all the way up and turn around so that you're on your knees, turning your foam roller so that it's the opposite direction. Set your forearms onto the foam roller, leaving your butt on top of your knees. Push your foam roller away, bringing the head down in between the arms. Head can rest, rest on the mat if it feels nice. You can always roll the arms a little bit farther down the foam roller if you feel like you leave a little bit more distance for the body. Take a deep breath in here. As you breathe out, try to pull the foam roller back towards you, rounding nose towards your pubic bone, feeling yourself really curve through the upper back. And then pushing the foam roller away, lengthening through your chest. We're gonna go for eight here. You are feeling the pressure down of the arms into the foam roller to help control this range. And you are trying to not only lengthen through your pecs this time, but also through your lats on the bottom of your armpit. Finding movement through your thoracic spine, trying to open up in your intercostal muscles between your ribs. Maybe as you push out, you try to twist your head and ribs a little to look to the right. Rounding through the spine to come back to the center. And then twisting to look to the left. Good, one more in the center. Good. 
keeping the foam roller the direction that it's laying, you turn yourself around so you're on your butt. Try to place the foam roller so that it is at the same height as your shoulder blades, so you should feel them really resting on the uh, foam. Hands are gonna interlace behind your head and you're gonna first open yourself up into your extension. So letting your chest fall open towards the ceiling. Hold it here for a second for me. Take an inhale and try to feel your hands help reach your head even farther back. Close your elbows towards your face. Bring your chin towards your chest. Stretching through the back of the neck, try to round forward as far as you feel comfortable. Exhale, sink just a little deeper. Inhaling to open up. Elbows are wide, chest is open. Feeling a little more air come in as you get a little longer. Exhaling, elbows wrapped to the face, chin pulls towards the chest, stretching through the back of the spine. Squeeze out a little bit more air, curl a little bit higher. Keep the elbows close to your face and then try to lower yourself so that you are halfway back. Holding this position, notice if your elbows have snuck back wide and try to again wrap them in towards your face as much as you can. Without using your butt, try to elevate your tail off of the ground by pushing down and into your feet. Try your hardest to feel your elbows pulling in towards your face to spread through your shoulder blades. And then you're trying to let gravity help your back push into that full roller. So again, you're applying a little bit of pressure right in between those blades. As slow as you can, start to feel your butt pull a little bit more towards your heels, rolling up your back. Try to get the elbows a little farther away from the ground and closer to your face, pushing your butt away from your heels, rolling down your back. This might be extremely painful. You are just trying to stay slow and really using gravity to help you. Again, the sensation that you're looking for here is that really, really intense spreading of the shoulder blades because elbows are wrapping towards your face and lifting up towards the ceiling. Good, let your butt come down close towards the heels. Keep rolling until your foam roller is underneath the nape of your neck. Once it arrives there, allow yourself just to take a second to notice that as you push your neck back into it, you feel a little bit of tension, it's kind of tender. Start to turn your head to look towards the right. Coming back to the center and then try to turn your head to look towards the left. Lightly pressing your head into the foam roller to feel Feel that release. If any spot feels tender, pause. Nod your chin a little, yes. And then keep going. So this week, as we focus on arm work in class, we often tend to feel the work arise in our shoulders and in our neck especially with the amount of overworking we're all doing on our computer. So maybe a couple times this week after class, you come and you do this video so that the strength that we build in our arms doesn't aggravate us for the next few days. 